welcome to this uh, very quick tutorial on uh, the basics of using the running figures spreadsheet. Uh, just to start off with a very quick overview of the, the main areas of the program. This is the, the main screen where it says Sports Carnival down here, which shows uh, the factions and their points, um, and the leaderboard, uh, which can be updated at any time using the refresh button just here. Uh, if you slide to the right here, you've got the students and all their details, uh, their student numbers in column V, uh, their scores and the results for all of the events that they are going to be participating in, uh, along with uh, a clear button to clear all the data to start from scratch. Um, along the bottom, these tabs are for the events that are going to be in the carnival and to the end here you have two pages which are uh, some convenient stats to be had uh, the first one is uh, the top four by student and the second one is the top four by the event if at some stage uh, points just need to be awarded to a faction only not to a student uh, you can use this area here the sundry points adjustments to do just that. So if we wanted to say award green 100 points for doing really well in the cheerleading for some reason, uh, we just click on the green there and the 100 points gets awarded to the green faction uh, independent of the students themselves getting any points. Now there are two ways to use the program. The first way is the simplest and simply uh, involves recording the student's number and their place in the event and their points get updated as well as their factions points and that's all and everything is done in this screen here and the leaderboard is updated and at the end of the carnival you have the results for the factions and the students right here so the first thing you would do at the start of the day if i just pan across here a little bit is you would use the filter here on their classes uh, to select a particular class, um, in this case uh, a year 8 class here, print this off, give this to the form class at the beginning of the day and so that these student numbers can be written perhaps on the back of the hand or wrist of the students ready for recording for the day so when they come up with their results uh, only their number has to be recorded and entered into the program here. So we'll just select all those back again. So let's say we have a look at uh, Fritz Montano here, student number one. Uh, he's got one written on his hand uh, and he's come first in an event. So you would just click on where the student number box is here, put in your one, click on the first place medal. And as you can see, his faction blue gets updated to six points because it's set to six at the moment. Um, that's up to you, that can be modified and if we move to the right here we can see that indeed Fritz has now got six points to himself as well and uh, he's in uh, year 10 and he's a boy so if we look at the leaderboard at the year 10 boys he's not there at the moment oh yes he is, he's, there. he's right there um, but normally you would just need to refresh uh, the leaderboard if, if they don't appear and it'll be updated and you'll see that he's moved up to first place with six points. So whenever this needs to be updated, you just need to click on this refresh button here. And all the pivot tables used in this program will be updated. And their names moved around and scores shown accordingly. The second way to use the program involves the actual recording of event uh, times and distances. Um, so if we just uh, move over to the right here, we'll clear this blue score and Fritz's score of 6 uh, to reset all the information. Just scroll to the right, there's a clear button here. As soon as that is clicked, uh, everything goes back to zero again. So you can see that the factions are now clear. And if we click the refresh button, you can see Fritz Montano has still got 6 points. So click, clicking the refresh button uh, will remove that and we are back to square 1. Uh, so say we want to record the 100 meter event, so we'll click on the 100 meter tab down here. Um, again, this needs to be cleared, so we can just click the reset button over to the right 
and that goes back to being blank and it says not recorded. Um, the student numbers when the race is complete can be put down in any order along with their times and as soon as the update button is clicked they will be put in the correct order and their results and points uh, allocated accordingly. So we know that Fritz Montano is student number one so if we put number one in there and we give him a time for the 100 meters of 11.268 for example and just click update. Um, let's move over to back to the sports carnival tab then. Uh, we can see that in the year 10 boys there is nothing there at the moment but we're expecting Fritz to move up to first place with six points so as soon as we click refresh uh, the updating happens and there indeed Fritz Montano is there on six points along with his blue faction getting hit their six points and if we move to the right now we can see that Fritz under the 100 meters has got his score his time recorded 11.268 seconds uh, with his points here uh, moving to the stats page the top four by student so Fritz is now the top year 10 boy uh, according to points um, so if we go to year 10 boys there he is Fritz Montano and it gives you his 100 meter result right there 11.268 seconds and by event of course in the 100 meters he is the top for year 10 boys and so there he appears there now uh, with along with his points of six as well as his time the only other thing worth pointing out here for some of these events that go for longer than one minute is that the format entered for the time must be done in a very specific way which is indicated on the sheet so you don't get confused uh, as to which one you need to put in this way um, and it says you must include at least one digit for the minutes uh, you must include the colon between the minutes and the seconds and then the seconds uh, must have the decimal point and at least one place value after the decimal point for the seconds um, this is just to keep it uh, in the same way that a stopwatch would be used at the event with minutes seconds and milliseconds and so these cells here are formatted to time durations to fit that kind of format so you just need to be careful that you do enter it in that way for events that will take over a minute um, so there we go the program really is that simple to use uh, wish you well to use it